Welcome to your yoga flow. Today's class will be a quick yoga flow to do in the morning, after work, at any time, anywhere. It is one of my go-to flows with a sequence that I often do myself whenever I'm short on time and I would like to get a quick yoga stretch in. No props are required for this practice, but you are always welcome to incorporate whatever props you need to support your body. We will get started in a child's pose. Hands will be up towards the front of the mat. Knees can be wide or close together. Sit the glutes back onto the heels. Find length through the spine as you allow the crown of the head to reach towards the top of the mat with the forehead resting on the earth. If you would like, you can always cupcake the fingertips and lift the palms off the mat. This might help you find a little bit more length through the back. And it might allow you to find that equal and opposite energy of pulling towards the front of the mat with the arms and pulling towards the back with the hips. Then as you settle in, notice the breath. Notice the pace, the depth. See what you can change to slow it down. Then wherever you are in your breath cycle, empty the breath completely. Together we inhale through the nose. Open mouth, sigh, let that go. Again, inhale through the nose. Open mouth, sigh, release. Last one, fill up. Exhale, let that go. If you have the palms lifted, lower them back down onto the earth. Shift yourself forward, then lift the hips, tuck the toes, find your way into a down dog. Take a moment as you pedal through the feet here. Stretch to the back of the legs, the calves. You might even feel this in the low back. And eventually you find your way into stillness. Inhale, lift left foot up. On your exhale, left knee into the chest, squeeze. Lower left foot in between the hands, drop right knee, untuck right toes. Inhale, lift for a low crescent lunge. Exhale, settle in here. So your choice if you would like to keep the hands overhead or you can interlace the fingers and bring the hands on top of your left leg. Then depending on the day, sometimes I like to rock forward and back to help open up right hip. In other days, I feel very open and I can go very deep. So make sure you check in with how you're feeling today, which placement of the arms work best for you, and whether you would like static or movement. A couple of more rounds of breath to play and then we all meet in low crescent lunge with arms over the head in stillness with the legs. Left hand comes to left hip. Inhale, find length through the spine. Reach right arm up. Then as you exhale, reach the body over towards the left. You might be able to bring your left hand down to the earth. Then roll through right wrist. Length all through right side body. As you inhale, use the obliques to lift yourself back up. Then as you exhale, hands frame left foot. Right hand plants, inhale, lift left arm up towards the ceiling. Exhale, drop left arm back. Hang out here for a moment. You can keep left foot where it is or you can start to heel toe the foot towards the left for more of a lizard variation. Then if you would like to take the quad stretch, bend at right knee, grab for right foot with left hand, gaze beyond left shoulder and breathe. You can close the eyes if you would like. A few rounds of breath here as you sink into the posture. Mm -hmm. 
Then if you have the quad stretch, release. We'll sweep left arm up. If you're in the lizard variation, your left hand will come inside of left leg. If you kept your foot right where it is, left hand will come outside of left leg. Tuck right toes, lift so that you're in a lunge position. Right knee is off, the earth right leg is extended. Then step left foot back, press back, down dog. Take a moment here, pedal through the feet. Eventually find stillness and down dog. Inhale, lift. Lift right foot up towards the ceiling. Exhale, right knee to nose, squeeze. Step it through, lower left knee, untuck left toes. Inhale, lift the arms overhead for crescent lunge. Exhale, settle in. So again, you have the same options on this side. You can interlace the hands and bring them on top of your right thigh. You can find a little bit of movement in your lunge or you can stay static right away. Find what works best for you and this side might feel different than the other side. That is okay. A couple of more rounds of breath to play, then we meet in low crescent lunge with the arms overhead and the lower body in stillness. Right hand comes to right hip. Big inhale, extend left hand up towards the ceiling. Exhale, side bend over towards the right. Stretch long, find a length all through left side body. Left rib cage down to the hip, maybe even through the quad down to the knee. You can always release your right hand to the mat if you would like. Take a moment here. Then use the obliques, lift yourself up, low crescent lunge. Exhale, hands down to the earth, left hand plants. Inhale, lift right hand up towards the ceiling, gaze goes up. Then again, your choice, you can keep right foot where it is, or you can start to heel toe it towards the right side of the mat for more of a lizard variation. Eventually, right hand drops back, gaze is beyond right shoulder, and then if you would like, take the quad stretch on this side. Breathe here, find length, broad through the collarbones. Again, you can close your eyes here as you sink into the shape. Couple more rounds of breath. If you have the quad stretch, release. Inhale, sweep your right hand up and over. It plants to the earth, either inside of right leg or outside. Tuck left toes, lift left knee. You're in the lunge variation. Then step right foot back, lift up, down dog. Take a moment here. You can pedal through the feet or find stillness. And eventually start to walk the hands and the feet towards one another at the center of the mat. Grab opposite elbows, hang heavy here. You're welcome to sway left and right if you would like. If you're moving, find stillness. Hands release to the earth. Inhale, lift the heels off the mat. Exhale, bend through the knees. Lower your glutes down. Glutes come to the earth. Walk the feet out. Knees are bent. Soles of the feet are planted on the mat. We'll move into a seated rabbit. So start to walk yourself forward. Hands towards the ankles. Then you can lift the balls of the feet off the earth and grab for the blades of the feet. Forehead comes towards the knees, equal and opposite energy, hands to feet, feet to hands as you find space between the shoulder blades and the neck. Continue to breathe here.
and slowly start to release. Walk your torso up, then cross at the ankles in a simple seat. Inhale, lift the arms overhead. Exhale, twist towards the right, left hand to right knee, right hand on the earth behind, gaze beyond right shoulder. Keep left hand where it is as you release the twist, right hand over towards left knee, round through the back. Inhale, gather energy, lift all the way up. Exhale, twist towards the left, right hand to left knee, left hand on the earth behind, gaze beyond left shoulder. One more full round of breath here. Then keep right hand where it is, release round through the back. This time we'll stay rounded through the back, interlace the fingers, press the palms towards the front of the mat, exhale here. Then as you inhale, arms come overhead, pull the chest through, exhale round through the back. Inhale, lift, exhale round. One more time, inhale, lift, exhale, round and hold. Find space between the shoulder blades again. Drop the chin to the chest. And slowly release, let that go. Integrity through the spine. You can bring left hand to the chest, right hand to the navel space. Connect back to the breath. Then again, we'll invite the cleansing breath in. Big inhale through the nose. Open mouth, sigh, let that go. Take a moment to check in, to notice, to see the difference of how you feel now versus when you first started. See if you can carry the sense of calmness and tranquility with you for the rest of the day, the evening, whatever time it is for you. And you can slowly release the prayer hands to chest, thumbs into the heart space, bow your head, offer gratitude to the practice. Thank you so much for tuning in and for flowing through one of my favorite sequences with me. Please be sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe. I will see you next time. Namaste.